Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure VPN between two locations. As you know that VPN is nothing but virtual private network. The VPN, the basic the terminology you can say, enable a communication between the private networks over the public network. So this is called VPN. So now, before I start the configuration, I just want to show you my laptop policy. So if you see here in my lab, we have a two locations. One is, is HQ and other one is branch. In HQ, we have a static public IP, which is 195.229.219.5, which is connected on port number three. And we are going to use for internal network 192.168. 20 network and in the branch we have a 195.229.219.10 which is connected on port number one which is a static public IP and in my internal network we have 192.168.30 network so now my concern is that the people who is sitting in 192.168.20 network they need to access the resources which is belongs to 192.168.30 and the people who is sitting in 30 network they need to access the resources in 20 network so for that i am going to establish a vpn between these two so basically i am going to use the protocol called ipsec basically ipsec is going to comes with version 1 and version 2 so in this lab i am going to show it to you how to configure it in version 1 okay guys let's go and do that as per my previous lab, I have enabled the management access for my internet interface so that I can able to access my data router from internet as well. Yeah, that's what I have done it. So now let's go and do this one guys. Just open the browser. So right now I'm going to the head office. So here head office is 195.229.219.5 and in the branch which is 195.229.10. So now let's go and log in the head office router, which is 3910 admin and admin. Then say login. So once you log in, make sure that it's always recommends guys. Make it off, auto logout, make it off so that you will not find any issues. Then after that, go to the VPN and remote access. And if you want to know what are the protocols is open at the moment, enable or not, you just click on this and see here right now these protocols is enabled at the moment. In case if you want to use PPTP as well, by default it's a disable, just enable this one as well, then click OK. Then after that say OK. Make sure that before you are going to configure, you just verify it. Even I can able to ping the router public IP as well because I enable the ping. If you if you can see it in my previous video, you can able to understand, guys. So just a minute, let's come back now. See, I can able to ping. Now let's go and access the router. Just refresh this page. Just wait for a few seconds, guys. Yeah, let's click on type the username as admin and password is admin then click login so before you are going to configure it as i told you make it off first then after that go to the vpn and remote access and check the remote access control whether all the protocol is enable it or not then after that you need to decide whether you want to configure lan to lan or remote dial in vpn but make sure that lan to lan is nothing but site to site vpn guys for example i have a two locations one is hq other one is the branch as i discussed earlier so now i'm going to configure my hq site so select the lan to lan and if you see here by default viga 3910 is going to support up to 500 vpn tunnels you can able to configure it guys so a 500 profiles you can able to configure it each profile is related to one vpn tunnel so now just click on the index number one then after that, enable this profile and specify the name. So I'm going to say 2962. I'm going to say like this. 
okay guys then make sure that in the Dratech terminology one side we can call it as a VPN server and other side we can call it as a VPN client try to understand this one guys so the terminology for the Dratech I just want to show it to you here so one of the location we can call it as a VPN server and other location we can call it as a VPN client keep remember this so VPN server is nothing but he is ready to accept the connections from the client so that's why we can call it as a dial-in and VPN client is nothing but we can call it as a dial-out is trying to establish a connection with the server so you just remember these two terminologies that's very important guys then now one side I'm going to configure it as a VPN server and other side I'm going to configure it as a VPN client so here let's say that my 3910 router I'm going to configure it as a VPN server so I can call it as a dial-in and here it's asking that how you want to the internet connection is connected where it's connected in WAN 3 okay guys see you can able to see the public IP then after that what is your call direction I'm going to say dial in then after that go down if you see here you will find dial out settings here and you will find dial in settings here guys so don't get confused so whenever you select dial in make sure that you need to play with dial in settings so just go to the dial in then which protocol you are going to use I want to use IPsec tunnel then after that it will ask you what's your remote VPN gateway guys so my remote VPN gateway I have a static public IP so nothing to worry 195.229.219.10 then after that you can just click on the pre-shared key so make sure that this pre-shared key has to be matched in both sides so I'm going to specify the pre-shared key here let's just make it up so I just want to specify is something different then type the same don't worry guys because I have installed antivirus that's why it's giving that whenever I'm trying to enter any kind of password it's going to protect me on that say ok now then after that if you see here IPsec security method so where the IPsec is going to use ESP it's going to encapsulate your data and either you can use DES, 3DES or AES for example if you say that I just want to use only AES just uncheck this guys okay but I am going to say the proposal which is coming from my VPN client it can come from DES or it can come from triple DES or it can come from AES it doesn't matter that's what I am going to select this three then after that if you notice here the local network is 192.168.100.1 so by default it's selected guys so remote network is 192.168.201 correct guys but here I want to tell you something different what is that but in the remote side keep remember that I have configured 192.168.30.1 as well correct guys so add that then slash 24 then click add say ok now then after that close then you can say ok keep remember this one guys whatever remote networks you have it you can able to add like this now after this say ok now let's go to the remote branch enter the username as admin and type the password as admin then click login then say ok now then after that make it off then after that what you are going to do guys click on VPN and remote access and check what are the protocols is enabled so by default PPTP is disabled if you want you can enable it say ok say ok it's going to come back now to verify the ping you just type this 219.10 so wait for some time yes it's going to come back say refresh don't feel something is getting slow or something guys why because I am accessing through public IP that's the reason it's getting slow yeah 
admin admin say login once you login go to the vpn and remote access then click on lan to lan then after that by default we got 2962 is going to support up to 200 vpn tunnels so and click on number 1 and then enable this profile and specify the name i am going to specify 23915 then after that I am going to act as a dial out then here it's connected on van 1 that's fine for me I want to use IPsec IKE version 1 then what's the server IP which is 195.229.219.5 then after that what is the IKE pre-shared key so I am going to select pre-shared key which should be match in both sides So I'm going to enter now and specify the confirm password. Then after that, say OK. Then here if you see in the advanced. So both sides I have a public IP guys. So you nothing to worry. So I can just select either main mode or aggressive mode, it doesn't matter. Both sides if you have a public IP. Now just say ok now I need to play with the dial out here I am just playing there then after that what's your remote network the remote network is 192.168.100.1 then remember that we have one more network guys that is 20 then select slash 24 say add then click ok say close say ok then say ok guys then go to the connection management dial the connection see the tunnel is comes back now what I can do now for example let's go and connect my PC ok guys in the head office let's log out from there in case if you want to check just refresh it here yeah just go to the VPN and remote access connection management you can see here the tunnel is up ok guys now what I am going to do now let's go and connect my PC in the head office network yeah let's go and do that so I am going to disable the Wi-Fi guys so I connected now so I am going to get the IP address as 20 network yeah which is there in the head office so let's go and check what's the IP address I got it see I got it successfully and open the com command prompt or main terminal try to ping and try to ping in remote side there you go I can able to ping now open the browser and try to access www.tritech.com and you can able to access your local appliance as well as remote appliance through VPN see that this is what how you are going to configure the VPN between two devices. Thank you for watching. 
for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com